Writing in the Daily Mail today, the former Prime Minister says she also wants to ban people under the age of 18 from changing their gender by using puberty blockers or cross-sex hormones. Well, joining us now is Kelly J. Keane, founder of Standing Up For Women. Kelly, I mean, look, when I read what Liz Truss has said, people are going to be screaming and shouting like she's some sort of evil right-wing tyrant extremist. But these sorts of measures would have been utterly inconscionable even 10 years ago. The idea that in a school, the boys and girls should have to share facilities would have been deemed totally morally wrong, as would have been completely life-changing, body-altering medicine and, and intervention for a mental health issue. Yeah, it, I think it's... I mean, the, they're very late on this, and the Conservative government have been in government through all of the woke uh, hell that's being raged through the schools. Um, I think another sort of part to this is how indoctrinated uh, students are being when they're doing sort of teacher training courses. So we have to sort of get it out of universities. That would be sort of slicing it at the root. But I recently went into a school with a parent who was concerned about what she was being taught. And the school was called a no outsider school. And let me just warn parents watching, if your child is at a school that's a no outsider school, you really do need to go and have a very, very... Uh, honest conversation with teachers about what it is that they're doing. Now, what I found when I went into the school, not just that they were doing this, not just that there were no... Uh, so this is a primary school. There would be no um, firm view on excluding boys from girls' sleeping accommodation on residential trips. So that would mean that a boy that says he's a girl would be in with the girls. Uh, girls and boys would be told off for misgendering um, that would be a punishable offence in schools. Um, you know, the list is endless. But what was really frightening is how dishonest those teachers were. You know, friendly little Mrs Smith um, in charge of safeguarding at this particular school and actually just complete dishonest, really thought they knew better than parents and treated parents with absolute contempt for even asking what was going on in the school. Absolutely. I mean, this is what this issue uh, boils down to. It's who brings up children. Is it the state through the prism of our useless schools or is it mums and dads, parents? I would suggest it's mums and dads. Uh, now, in her article, uh, Kelly J, in the Daily Mail, uh, Liz Truss makes a good point. She says, look, there was a time when what I'm saying would be regarded as obvious common sense, uh, you know, that uh, you separate the bathrooms, the lavatories in schools, because what's happening now, and she refers to this, is that boys, of course, are saying, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm bi you know, binary, non-binary, and they're going into the loos and they're taking pictures of the girls in the cubicles, uh, really laughing about it all. Uh, this is all going on. So, basically, I think my question to you is, uh, you know, the fact that Liz Truss's bill probably won't get passed by virtue signalling MPs, you know, who want to somehow be woke. How did we get to this point? She says, I'm just saying things that are common sense. Why is it that so many of our authorities, our schools, our establishments just don't practice common sense? They practice insanity. Abuse, insanity, which <laughs> actually, you're right, it results in a kind of child abuse. What, what, how did we get to this point? Yeah. Well, I think overwhelmingly we have to consider that that there's a lot of money in this. There's a lot of lobby groups um, who've been very successful in persuading people in authority, not normal people, not people that are cleaning the offices, but people in the big old offices, that actually this is this is something worth doing. And, and I also think we have to bear in mind that people like to be seen to be good without doing any good at all. And I think that's what this is as well. It's a lot of people who want to be seen to be good, but actually do absolutely nothing that's good for anyone. So they can, you know, you've got big banks that basically say that they're woke and inclusive. And at the same time, you know that, you know, they would have they would have forfeited mortgages and they would have uh, foreclosed mortgages, sorry, and and kicked people out of their homes and and not really helped anybody and charged infinite amounts for overdrafts and, and on and on and on. So it's it's all about this virtue signaling. And I, I would just like to see the return of people actually doing good. That would be nice. But Kelly, do you think that at some point we're going to reach the end of the line here? Because essentially this is a complete uh, negligence of safeguarding when teenage girls are saying, boys have been looking at me use the toilet, or I'm too scared to use the toilet at school now, or I've been assaulted in the toilet. And when the first wave of kids who have been given hormone blockers turn around when they're adults and say, I was young, I didn't know what I was doing, and I want to sue the 
doctor who made me take this medication. Do you hope that at some point in the future we're going to do a massive, much needed U-turn? Oh my goodness, yeah. And I think it will I think it will come with um some really unintended consequences. And I think there will be a lot of people uh punished along the way uh when the backlash comes and it is going to come. And it won't be very nice at all. Um but I think one of the things I would like to see is that is that somebody brings a lawsuit of sex discrimination against a school uh, that takes away their female only space. Um, so in this particular school, they had they had, you know, they called them gender neutral. I call them unisex toilets. Um, and, and that's happened everywhere. You know, these these poor schools with no budget and no spare money for books and pencils can actually spend an absolute fortune on brand new toilet blocks everywhere. Um, I'd love to know where that money came from. Um, so you know we're just we're just looking at different ways of of holding people to account but the teacher unions are totally captured um totally balmy uh, it's it's just we're going to have to unbake this cake and it's going to be tricky but it's going to be well worth doing it really uh, well done kelly uh, kelly j keen the founder of the standing for women, women. organization